I want to see the bub uglies. Like, why can't I see that? And then I remembered it's a YA. Bro, I cannot stand Taryn. Ugh. Dare I say? I think Queen and Nothing is better than Cruel Prince and Wicked King. Oh my god. I've been reading this for the past like few hours and I'm already like more than halfway done. Like I don't know, I think this might be here I say a new favorite trilogy because it is so good guys oh my god that was a look of disgust he's gonna make the monks eat it that's kind of fucked <laughs> hey guys so, I have a reading update. I started Queen of Nothing yesterday and I finished it all in one day. I could not put this down. This is like, I think the Cruel Prince trilogy, specifically the Wicked King and the Queen of Nothing, have to be like my favorite young adult enemies to lovers fantasy. Like the character dynamic we see Jude and Karen go through and her kind of being kind of naive to being a manipulator and doing like these unsavory acts in order to protect herself and the people she loves even if it's at the cost of their relationships you know is so good and then like <laughs> the care and the i hate that i want you from caring is so good and like the ride that i went through with these characters i'm like <sighs> one of the few series i feel gets better as you read it with every book, I rated it higher and higher than I did the first one, right? I cannot believe I waited so long to read this. And i that is my only regret, is that I waited so long to read this trilogy. You know, <laughs> you know the Holy Black, she's my girl. For some reason, I forgot that it's a YA, so there's no like spicy scenes, right? So I was like, I want to see them bub uglies. Like, why can't I see that? And then I remembered it's a YA.
but I think I am going to write my little notes I like to insert into all the books I read and then I was thinking of picking up the spell shop because it's August and August means it's <laughs> it means it is autumn in my brain it is fall in my brain and I am a Virgo <laughs> Hey guys, it has been a few days <laughs> since my last check-in, but I just wanted to do a quick reading update. So I ended up picking up The Spell Shop by Sarah Beth Durst, and I'm about, I would say, three-fourths of the way through. Guys, this is so fun. This is a very cozy read. I think, I don't know, mm, I don't know if I would say you know what, I'm gonna wait till the end till I finish this book to say if I like it more than Legends and Lattes, but I'm really enjoying myself. We have a very, not necessarily very unlikable character, but is a, you know, character who isn't always putting their best foot forward. In that aspect, she's kind of very unlikable. She's kind of like rude sometimes, but she goes through a lot of character growth. I really like the main male love interest i really love the group of found family she has i love the majority of the villagers surprisingly and i love her companion the talking spider plant cast he's so fun and then i like the magic systems in here i'm very interested about the world because the world building is very um kind of vague it feels like not necessarily very fleshed out but you do get a lot of tidbits about it I am still working on The Way of Kings. I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> if you ever get a crochet gift from me, I'm so sorry. You will most likely have a piece of my hair in it. I am so sorry. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> Hey guys, I woke up and my power is off because someone hit the electrical box in my neighborhood so my plans have changed for today but it is a new day. I am most likely just going to go out somewhere. I was planning to read some of the books I was planning to finish this month but there's been a change of plans so... <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you guys could tell a quality difference in my footage right now. I'm working with a different camera, so I'm not sure if it looks better, if it looks worse. I have really bad eyesight. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but right now I'm working on... I can't get my car out of the garage. Anyway... <laughs> I am working on a new uh, donation beanie. I'm work I don't know. I'm working on a new beanie, but a little high key. I'm kind of tired of working on beanies right now because I've made so many in the past like few weeks. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking I'm going to Joanne's and getting yarn for Christmas gifts. Luckily, I have hit my goals for what I was planning to donate, which was a scarf. A couple blankets, a couple beanies, and a couple shawls. And I've managed to make a few extra items like hats and bags and stuff. Um, so yeah. Oh, and before I forget, I'm still reading The Spell Shop. I got distracted the past few days with work so I wasn't able to read. 
But I managed to read a little bit this morning and I'm really enjoying myself. It is so stinking cute. I really love how Larian is so endearing and so, so like supportive and he really loves Kalila for who she is regardless of her faults and sees the best in her and like ugh, so cute. Yeah. So I am at like the crux of the events of the story so that will be very interesting to see how this wraps up because I feel like I'm concerned. I got concerns about what's gonna happen to my girl but we are at that point where they have kind of acknowledged their feelings for each other and it's so sweet and so like Hey guys, we still don't have power, so <laughs> I hope you guys can see me via candlelight. I mean, on the bright side, this is a mood, but also on the, <laughs> on the terrible side, there's no power. Um, you probably can't tell, but we have candles all over our house right now too, or like fake lights and stuff like that. But I just want to do, I don't know, an update. I don't know. I'm worried like this vlog, this vlog is a little weird because everything going on, but I did finish the spell shop and I do want to say I really enjoyed myself. I think it is a very cozy, wholesome story and I think given the circumstances, it was one of the happiest endings you could wish for for all the characters. So there is that. Um, and once again, I love the characters, I love the world building, I love the magic and the banter and all like this found family aspects and like kind of reconciling grief at the same time and becoming your own person and a better version of yourself. So definitely recommend. Um, I don't think reading by candlelight would be good for my eyes, even though it would be a mood. <laughs> so I think I'm going to read of my kindle and uh, try to knock out a good chunk of one dark window hopefully the next time i check in there'll be actual light My girl, art. <sighs> there is a Goodreads review for The Dragon's Bride where it was along the lines of someone saying, I came for, <laughs> I came for the double peen, but it was surprisingly sweet. And I'm, actually, that's very accurate. Like, I'm making a test cardigan. I have to make 60 of these squares. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, 60 is easy because I could just do the half double crochet and not pay attention and watch stuff. But I forgot, I have a peanut brain, so I get distracted. So I stop crocheting sometimes when I'm watching stuff. I didn't think that through. 
whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you. 